name is Susan. I live on an acre of land. I breed cats and have been for the last 17 years. I hope this helps you and I hope your cat breeding business is a success. This is my first video. We are talking about registration today, but these are all things you need to know about cats. A registration, how the cat body produces kittens, C blood types, D coefficiency, E standards of British short hair, and F genetics. So we will do a video on each one. Okay, there are two types of registration. One is the GCCF, which is the Governing Cat Council Federation, and one is TICA. To be honest, I don't know a lot about TICA. I only know about the GCCF. There are three different types of registration with the GCCF. One is a full registration, which is a CS. One is a CSSR, which is a supplementary registration, and one is a reference registration, which is a CSREF. The example below shows you three generations of blue. It also shows you um, a grandparent that is a CS as well, which will also hold another three generations of blue behind that. This is a CS, a blue CS, and this is roughly what its pedigree should look like. Okay, I hope this helps. Color point is a chromosome, not an ally. You can only make, are you doing it? You can only make CSs if you have no color point in the pedigree. If you have colour point in the pedigree, make CSs by using the colour point chromosome gene and make a colour point CS. This is my favourite. This is me all over. I love making colours. I love doing genetics. And this is for people that love experimenting and doing things with their cats. Um, and making different colours uh, and enjoy playing around with your cats. A reference cat, there is no such thing as a reference cat really. The cat isn't reference, it's the human being who's got the gem code wrong or has got muddled up with what she bred with what. Um, the cats and the kittens are absolutely fine. You just got muddled up a bit and GCCF have thought this is a bit iffy. These two cats can't make this colour or you put the colour down wrong on the gem code which is more than likely, okay? They are perfectly healthy kittens. Um, they're just, a, you can't show them, you can't put them in the ring. Uh, cats are either being sold as active as queens and stud cats, or as non-active cats, they are being sold as pets. If in five years time, you decide that you want to turn your non-active cat and decide to have kittens with it, you have to go back to your breeder and ask for permission. You cannot turn a non-active cat into an active cat without your breeder's permission. First time buyers, you need to check your gem code. Take pictures of your mother and the father. 
take pictures of the kitten and research your kitten's eyes and make sure your registration shows the correct gem code before you finally pay. This is a book. Um, you can obtain it from the GCCF. It will help you with gem codes, patterns and pictures. Okay, this book will actually help you. I've used it loads of times. This is the gem code system. These are the colours. These are the patterns. Uh, remember the eye colours and remember to put your breed numbers in first. Okay, hopefully this will show you and hopefully this will help you. I've done some examples for you. This is Charlie. Charlie, what gem code do you think he is? Okay, so Charlie is a British short hair, so BSH, and he is A because he is blue, and S because he is silver. Okay, this is my ginger nut. Look at him really carefully. Can you get the gem codes right? Yes, ginger nut is a colour point. The eyes gave it away. The eyes are blue. So he is a BSH because he's a British short hair. He is an E because he holds cream. And he is a 33 because he's a colour point. Every time you register a cat, you are given a unique number. This is called your registration number and it stays with that cat for life. You will find this number just underneath your name of the breeder. We are now asked to vaccinate the kittens completely. The first vaccination and the second vaccination. On the first vaccination, get your microchip number done. Also put it on your registration when you register the kitten. Uh, again, this number stays with the cat for life. Um, it's now compulsory in this country. Okay. Sex of the animal, male, female, date of birth represents the day the kittens were born. Uh, all kittens cannot be rehomed until they're 12 weeks old or more and have both, have both vaccinations and microchipped. When you register the cat or the kittens, it will come up in the breeder's name to start with. When you get the sheet of paper, you take it home and then you re-register it in your name and address. And the breeder's name will still be on there and the breeder's prefect will still be on there. Please subscribe. Please press the thumbs up button. And the next bit video is going to be on how the cat's body works and has the kittens. Okay, hopefully we've been of help today.